How do you get back to training after being absent for a while? How do you even start training? Today, we're going to talk about motivation. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Trainerds. I've been sick and haven't trained for almost 10 days, so this topic became very relevant. Now, 10 days is not a particularly long time, but it's long enough for you to start getting the thoughts, oh no, I've lost all my muscles. What's even the point now? Already after 10 days, there can be a hill steep enough that it's hard mentally to get back up. I say mentally because physically there will be no worries. You don't lose your gains in that short amount of time. In fact, it will be more closer to two to three weeks before you start seeing or feeling a very small change. But the good thing after those weeks is something called muscle memory. So when you get back to working out, your muscle will regain strength faster. So in other words, no need to panic. Take your time to become healthy. You won't lose all your muscles, even if it feels like it. The muscles have a good memory and will recover fast. So what to do if you've been sick or been away from the gym for a while? Come on everybody, repeat after me. Take it slow. Give your body time to adjust. So after 10 days of doing absolutely nothing, just being sick, I'm doing a slow reboot right here. Getting the body used to moving again. Uh, waiting a day or two more until I hit the gym for a soft little workout. But it's a beautiful winter wonderland out there at least. I started with some short walks and did some really light, playful workouts in the gym. Doing exercises I wanted to do because they're fun, on really light weights, just to warm up the engines again. We're in this for the long run, so don't rush in, risking getting sick again or injure yourself. So it seems it's all in one's head. All that you need is motivation, right? I get these questions all the time. How do I get motivated? And the truth is, you will never always be motivated, sadly. I got a great comment from a viewer which brings this up. Follow the compass north. Most people try to build motivation, but it is fleeting and you can't always control when it hits. By starting slow and building a routine, you're not cultivating motivation, you're cultivating discipline. Discipline is a choice and a skill you can hone over time. A person with enough discipline will choose to do their workout even when they don't want to, and that is the key to success. And for the longest, I had a real hard time putting words into how I felt when I was really deep into training. So when people ask me, how do you stay motivated? I just answer, I do it because I need it. It feels like a douchey thing to say, but it is because of discipline your mind and body keeps on going. Sure, you have bursts of motivation, especially in the beginning. Now I'm gonna do something with my situation. But after the first couple of months, the mindset shifts. It's not that you need motivation the same way anymore. Your training has now become a habit. A habit you feel good doing, so your entire body will want you to return. Personally, it gets most clear to me when I've been away from training for a while. Like with a sickness or if life happens and you miss a couple of workouts. I start feeling uneasy and restless in my body and my mind turns to depressing thoughts really quick. Earlier in my life, I couldn't understand why. Now I just know I need to get back up on the saddle. And motivation is great. It makes you do great things, but you can't control when it hits. I can have a couple of workouts now and then when I get super motivated by a result or just in general. Or maybe I get motivated by trying to keep my habit going. But I can't force motivation to just appear. What to do? Don't chase or wait for motivation. It's not easy to control. Don't train only because you're motivated or wait to train until you're motivated. Be motivated by training your new discipline and forming a habit. The all so classic, it's not the destination, it's the journey, applies heavy here. It may not be what you've been waiting for or visualized for years. That lightning bolt of motivation hitting you. Just trust me and start doing it. Whatever it is. And whatever step is more and better than yesterday. And keep at it. 
make small, slow progress and all of a sudden you've created a new habit. You're now a person that trains. Just like me or all those other fancy gym influencers. You can do it, I believe in you. There might be a little cheat code for some inspiration and motivation. Sharing your training with someone, be it a friend who joins in your training sessions. And you together can build a habit by holding each other accountable and pushing each other to make progress. You can share your progress online and get encouraging words from others. I get inspired and motivated when you guys leave comments about your workouts or that you're thankful for the content I create. It gives me motivation to keep going. If you want a beautiful place online where you can share your training progress, the trainer's Discord server is for you. Talk about your lifts in the gym, talk about your cardio workouts, or just have a nice chat with like-minded people. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can do this, you will crush this. You're all welcome here on Train Nerds. And remember, you are awesome.